everyone, it's Jordan here, and today you are joined with me on my lovely bed. <laughs> so I know I have filmed in like a million different spots, but um, um, most likely this will turn into my regular spot where I will make the rest of my videos, or a lot of my talking videos. Yeah, and I'm sorry if I look really pale, it's dark outside, so... The lights making my face look weird. Yeah, anyways, today I'm here to do my Q&A video, if you didn't already get that from the title. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my Q&A video and get it up. I'm not sure when we really is going to do hers, but, uh, yeah. And all my questions I'm getting off of my Ask FM, which is ask.fm slash Jordan underscore underscore H. And you can ask me questions there anytime, and I will answer. So yeah. And all of my all of these questions have been answered on Ask, but uh, yeah, I'm just reading it and telling you the answers for those who have not seen my Ask. So yeah, let's get started. So the first question that comes up says, "Are you going to the A show?" <laughs> well, it's very specific. She, they probably mean the Raleigh A show next weekend that uh, I will probably not go to. Scariest writing moment. Um, I have had a ton of these. <laughs> so if you mean like by scariest writing moment, um, no, like not falling off. Oh, there's like a ton of scary writing moments. Whenever a horse stops at a jump, it's always scary. Or anything where a horse stops abruptly and you don't see it coming is always scary because you have no idea what they're going to do. Uh, qualities of a good rider. Um, the qualities of a good rider always differ between the different disciplines. Uh, Hi dear buddy, look at, hey come here. Hey look at the camera. Look at the camera. What do you like the at? So he's just going to awkwardly be in the video if you can't see his. Oh there you go. So the qualities of a good rider do depend on the different disciplines like hunter jumper, equitation, jumper. They change going over to western. But uh, I will just I'll just name some qualities of a good rider in the hunter jumper ring since that's what I do. Uh, you always want to have a good leg, and you um, and a nice heel is always great to have because it keeps you more balanced. It's not as preferred in the hunter ring as it is in the equitation, but um, it's. It's, you can benefit from a good heel. You always want to have a good feel on the horse's mouth. You don't want to have a loose rein, but you don't want to have, you don't want to be too uptight or in their face. Um, having a good eye is always great. Going up to a jump, always being able to find your distance really easily is always a great quality to have. And just being able to work with your horse night, um, easily and getting your horse around the course smoothly is the is really big key to have. Worst fail, um, I probably don't have like a worst fail since I fail all the time, <laughs> but um, some fails would be like chipping in, I hate chipping in is the worst, or taking a long spot and then getting left behind, uh, falling off is always a terrible fail. <laughs> Favorite type brand, uh, I don't have necessarily, um, by the way I'm reading these off of my computer so sorry uh, favorite tack brand would I don't have like a specific tack brands especially since I don't even know the brands of some of my tacks uh, mainly because if I the tack that I've gotten I've gotten it from my trainer I bought it from my trainer or I've gotten it for like Christmas or my birthday so yeah a lot of times I will get tack from my trainer since she has like a tack store even though she doesn't advertise any of it but she always gives us good deals on tack that she has but my saddle is a PJ and I love it so if I had to choose one it'd probably be PJ favorite breed um hmm. I have a lot of favorite breeds if I had to choose some though it'd probably be thoroughbred or an Oldenburg Thoroughbreds and Oldenburgs are really nice, or um, Dutch Warm Bloods are really nice too. So, yeah. 
Rider Pet Peeve and Horse Pet Peeve. Um, my a Rider Pet Peeve of mine would be if a rider is doesn't take care of their own horse, if they all they do is depend on um, the groom to do everything on their horse and all they have to do is show up and get on the horse, they don't have to do anything. And another rider pet peeve would be not following the left to left shoulder rule when you're schooling in a ring. Whenever you are passing someone, you should always, it, it should always be your left shoulder facing the other person's left shoulder. And a horse pet peeve, um, I mean, I don't really have a horse pet peeve. A horse pet, it'd probably be like nipping or, um, like if you're constantly trying to do something and they're always like nipping or like playing with, or like, not like nipping you, but like they move their lip, but they're not actually like trying to bite you. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Because one of the horses, George, always does that like, you can't even put his halter on because he's always trying to like play like playfully nip you. I guess you'd say. I know. So. Uh, will your video be up tonight? Yes, <laughs> hopefully. If you're watching it, then yes, it has gone up. <laughs> What's your biggest phobia? Um, I have a ton of. Arachnophobia. I hate spiders so much. Um, I, I pretty sure this is a phobia. I hate the sound of people breathing and or chewing. Well, breathing and chewing. Like, I hate people snoring or breathing loudly in their sleep. I hate hearing the sound of people chew their food. It's just nasty. Worst thing your horse has done. Um, Daddy hasn't really done that many bad things to me. The worst he's done is probably just throwing me into a jump. Um, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> if you had a female horse, what would you name her? Um, it would really depend on their color <clears throat> and maybe their breed. If I really had to choose a name that I really liked, um, oh, I really like the name Ella. I, there's a pony at my barn named Ella and I think her show name is Cinderella but that's so like basic <laughs> but I really do like the name Ella. Worst fall uh, I've had a lot of falls. George has bucked me off and I hurt my back and my back hurt for about a week and a half. Uh, I have a scar on my elbow from getting bucked off of a pony and I fell and scraped my elbow really bad and it was like gushing blood and but yeah I have a scar from that on my elbow and then I was riding this other pony uh, and she's she's usually really good she's usually like a saint and well she's broken three people's collarbone but other than that she's usually really good uh, she wins a lot on the on the A circuit but um she th like was I was riding her one day and she just decided to stop and throw me into a jump and the jump was like this box so it hurt. <laughs> but I had fallen off a lot. Have you ever galloped? No, but what's funny about this question is the person said, have yo ever galloped? But yes, I have, I guess. If you ride horses, you should have at least galloped once in your life. If you could describe your horse in one word, what would it be? And for my answer that I put on Ask If Him, I said boss. Because he's a boss. Or it'd be awesome. Or cuddly. Or... Oh, there's so many. Because he's he's awesome. He's me. This is Tico, by the way. This is my doggy. What is your favorite gate? Uh, probably... What did I say? Probably caring, just because Donnie has the most uncomfortable trot in the world, and yeah, but he has a pretty comfortable canner. Do you have any animals besides horses? Yes, I have a dog, as you saw. Yep, his name is Seagull, like the purple squirrel on Dora. How high have you jumped? Uh, three foot, maybe even three three. Could you do a vid on how to pull a wrap? Yes, I'm going out to the barn tomorrow, 
So hopefully I will be able to get a video of how to polar wrap and get that up soon. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, go ask Waverly some questions. She is still receiving questions before she makes her Q&A video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I post every Saturday and Waverly post every Monday, but Waverly usually post a bunch of writing edits within the week. Yeah. So if you have any suggestions or questions, go ask. We will be happy to. And hopefully sometime in the future, we will be doing a live stream the next time we get together. So keep an eye out for that. We will let you know when that's happening. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you next week. Bye.